Hey everyone, I wanted to go over today in AFK Journey a weekly diamond and summons farm, the Arcane Labyrinth, which unlocks when you get, I think, around uh, AFK level 150, 155. So this is a weekly game mode. If you look around, it has featured heroes that they do more damage, essentially. They are buffed and they are better. So if you want to use those heroes, go for it. You have a first clear reward of epic invite letters as well as hero essence. And then once you get all that done, there's a bunch of these rules. You can read them if you want. Deploy heroes, collect coins, fight enemies. Yep. There's a weekly point system, and this is where you can get your summons as well as your diamonds. And the farther along you go, the more you get. And eventually, you will also start unlocking and farming up weekly title essence. Eh, 20 title essence. And that is the TLDR around this. There is rankings, eventually, once you get strong enough. You have your explorer teams that you set down here. They are set to a certain tier. They are set to a certain level. And apart from that, you go, go, go. I haven't quite yet unlocked difficulty three because I need one more hero who is tiered epic plus or higher. So yeah, it's very unfortunate. I know, right? Like. I already have two legendary tier or higher heroes, just not two epic or four epic plus or higher. So yeah, this is one of those weeklies where you just farm it up and get more stuff. Use the featured heroes, right? Attack increase, gaining bloodlust, right? Select all enemies target when casting Ferocious Roar, extends taunt. It says all of that right here. Featured hero, yeah, okay. Deploying a featured hero increases the points you earn by 50%. So if you are going for like high scores, which is what you'd be doing here, then you'd want to do that. But other than that, not going to lie, points are pretty worthless <clears throat> other than just getting your weekly level up. So if you want to get your weekly done faster, use those heroes. If not, doesn't really matter. We are going to jump into, because I can't do three, difficulty two. And we're just going to run an entire one and I'm going to talk about it how to do it, how it goes. As you can see, you have difficulty two, one out of 15. So there's 15 rounds. You have a currency up here, pure crystals. You get them by fighting enemies. And then you go into Fitz's laboratory. Has your overall total power. Your heroes quit. You can back out. Nice. You can collect in the top here, four relics in total. This relic is guard. Increase physical defense and magic defense by 10%. You start the game with a random relic, whatever it gives you. And then you go from there. I'm just gonna use the basic good old setup right here that everyone knows and loves. Oh, I don't have like a Coco or Kruger. Yeah, I'm just doing this setup. Two tanks, two DPS, and a healer. When you're much stronger than the enemies, it's not really a huge deal. And we're just gonna like blow past the generals of this. So, hey, I appreciate everyone being here on the Pupsker Gacha YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe, like, and if there are any specific AFK Journey Pupsker Gacha videos you want me to make, just let me know. We got six pure crystals, and as always, we get a relic from doing that. Increased haste by five or increased vitality? I'm gonna go with haste, because I, I want my dudes to kill them. I want the enemies to die. And then you fight an enemy, and then it just goes next into next. I, you know what, maybe I'll do this. I'll replace, I'm not a huge OD user, but OD is good. So I'll do that. And then instead of you, sorry Reese, I'll throw them. So I'll get more points, even if I don't need it. And that's okay. There we go. We'll do the cross, upside down cross, the wiener formation, if you will, right? You got the two balls, you got the dang, the dong sticking out. I like to call this the classic wang formation, if you will, wiener wang, you know, call it what you will, but it's a good, tactic in this game we get more loot points whatever and we're good to go defeat okay defeating enemies to get the blessing relic rewards obtain additional relic of the same type when defeating enemies this one's probably better to go in i want this vanquish but i'd much rather get this blessing gate you know because then i can get double the relics so this is the wiener formation right you have the two balls you have the shaft very very strong formation right here if you want to use it for maximum damage <laughs> and yeah we'll, we'll just keep on going and we'll see how many points we get by the end of it i think i'll make it to round like maybe 15. it goes until 20 and then you fight a boss and then once i kill the boss that's when the points are kind of like totaled up and does all the math on that no we're just gonna power through this now because we should be able to just wreck the enemies Ooh, fitz's store did i get a did i get a relic no relic Wow. 
Okay, we're gonna go into Fitz's store. Yet another store place. When entering the room, obtain 20% of the owned pure crystals, or I could buy straight up relics. I'm gonna get Money Jar, because we're still early on. We'll see Fitz once more before the end. And then we should be go. Should be good to go. This is just elite. We're just gonna destroy the enemies here. That's gonna be pretty simple. And then we waddle away. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 bum. The enemy Brutus is immune, and now he's dead. Yeah, so it's pretty easy at a lower level. I'll unlock day three tomorrow, or today when I pull some more. And then, yeah, if you watch those pulls, thank you. Oh, we got three or four guards there. Now, this is the last mechanic really to talk about. When you get two, four, six, or eight of your relics, you get a card. This is like a roguelike PvE game mode. You choose different cards. Every three seconds in battle, increase attack, defense, and physical uh, match defense. 2% for ally hero, up to 40%. Grant shield equal 30% of max HP to the weakest ally hero once every five seconds. Shield lasts five seconds. Grants immunity. Okay, we're going to go with the first one, the timed three second buff. Because that will be good. Now, we got another one. Double the physical and magic defense of bonus granted by guard series relics. I have a guard series relic. That's a huge boost. As you can see, it's a increased physical and magic defense by 40. Let's get that up. Let's get it to 80%. Boom. My characters are tanky as shit. Uh, this last one, restore 10% health to all deployed heroes upon victory in battle. I would not get that. It seems very bad to me. Because who cares about restoring health when your healer should be able to fully restore health easily? Right? You shield your allies and you fully restore their health with your healer. So that seems like one of the worst relics right now in the game. In general. So, wouldn't get that. You can if you want, but I just wouldn't recommend it. Well, victory is deserved. Slayer. Other than that, though, we can still kill enemies. We fought Rowan, got a lot of pure crystals. Vitality or this one. I'm always going to go for the guard one because it's just so good. Because I have it doubled, right? It just makes me so tanky. So I want it. I want it. Yeah, you really shouldn't bother running this game mode without a healer to sustain. Like, any anything in this game should probably have a support healer of sorts to sustain yourself, you know? Not really... Oh, another two guard crystals. Oh my, now we're gonna get a good one. Epic. Every time allied hero gains shield, deals damage. Next attack deals 50% of the shield value as true damage. True. Let's get it. Double your reward, Swift Blade. Ooh. Ooh, Swift Blade. Attack speed, very nice. Let's destroy Rowan. Poor buddy. Oh, they have a Smoky and Mirky healer too. But they can't outsmoke the smokes. What's up? Yeah, no, they got wrecked. Uh, wrecked. Yeah, health does carry in between, uh, carry over between the rounds, so you definitely want to make sure you have a healer. Swift Blade 2, Pure Crystal 9, Pog. Mobilize enemy heroes, 5 seconds of battle start. Increase crowd control duration, or allied 0. I'll do the rooting down, I guess. Epic's good. Store 20 energy after ulting, or you go to the crystal ball. You use this to replace a relic of yours if you want. Let's get the restore energy after casting an ultimate. It, you can get it to the point where you just restore an insane amount and just chain ult a lot, so... Helps. They're mobilized for 5 seconds. Every 3 seconds, my heroes get buffs, too. And they only become stronger. As time goes on, my heroes only grow stronger. Yep, that's right. It's the opposite of aging for my heroes. 1% boost every 3 sec- or 3% three boost every 3 seconds, I think. So it's like every second in combat they gain a percent of damage. 1% stronger, faster, harder. Annihilate the enemies! Look at that! Oh my god, no chance. Only hero that's dying is the, uh, spawned-in hero. Oh, Seth is actually destroying the enemies. Good for him. Make some noise! This is our victory! No, no, it was all Cecia. Seth is just kinda hanging out there. Oh, never mind, Cecia. You destroyed Seth. <laughs> uh, shop's really good because you got a bunch of crystals, but it's only one of those things where you'd go once, maybe twice. Doubles the energy restoration bonus granted by potential series 
Crystals. Oh. Oof. Eight. 60? Nope. Boom. 120 energy after casting an ult. Speedy recovery, more haste. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't have OD. No, I do have OD. I forgot I had OD down right there. But yeah, all my all my dudes are doing some good damage. But obviously CC has my main DPS is doing way more. Plus she's legendary upgraded, so she's already had that boost. Oh my god, did one of my characters die? Oh no, they just ran away and like pushed enemies around. I was a little worried there for a second. Seth, no. Don't do it, Seth. Choose life. We have survived. Oh, everyone's almost max health. Never mind. We're good. We're fine. Well, yeah, it's fine. Is deserved. Speed of recovery two. Okay, let's see the boost. Enemy hero receives f damage in the first eight seconds of the battle. Reduce HP of all other enemy heroes. Percent. Oh, nice. Five seconds in battle. Mark two enemy heroes currently have low HP when uh, their attack speed is increased. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot we can do. Sure, I'll, I guess I'll go in this Blessing Gate. We're gonna hit the final shop, and we're probably gonna buy it out. So I think we're gonna be kinda strong enough to do whatever. Not really like a big deal, you know? Aha, get healed, son! The enemy team, you may notice, has an Igor and he jumps around, it's hard to kill him. Hate that character so much. Seems like he never dies uh, on the enemy team, but he always dies on my team, so. I hate Igor, but I also love Igor. It's weird. I don't know. I feel like he's a trap. Speedy recovery. Yup. Always get those relics. Num 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 num. I need to be able to beat the enemies up faster. Deploy no more than four heroes. Oh, okay. Sure. Bye, Seth. I'll get a soul blessing. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need Seth. He's just there for fun. He's just there because he's a cool guy. Yeah, Seth's just a nice dude, you know? He's just hang he's just chillaxing, right? Just chillaxing. Hanging out, having a good time. Okay, that's the last difficulty, wow. almost. Now we're gonna go to the shop, and then we're gonna do the final battle. And then we're gonna continue, because it's not actually the final battle. You continue on till another battle. So we got more damage. 15 seconds into battle. All enemies receive two damage, oh, true damage equal to 20% of their max HP. And then for every Mauler hero deployed, increase allies, heroes attack, physical magic, defense by HP, or 5%. Oh, that's really good. I'd take that if I didn't want to grab that one. Okay, now we go to Fitz's store, because it's going to be the one before the final boss, second final boss. We buy the Swift Blade. We buy Potential. Boom. We get another one of these. Every Mauler hero. Okay. No, I want the Mauler Fang. Mauler fang. Almost all my heroes are maulers, so I want that big boost. And I'll buy a first aid kit. Because two resurrection potions. See? Boop. This is now the boss. So you should probably do more DPS. So I'm going to put on my Reese instead of my Seth. And I'll keep Odie on there, because Odie's good damage. I think we'll be able to kill him. He jumps right to my dude, so it's not really like an issue there. If I had Kruger on, I'd throw it on, so I could like defense re physical reduction defense reduction for him but yeah I think the enemy just gets clapped here so I'm fine not really a huge issue but we'll see damn allies running everywhere uh, enemy boss is getting clapped, and we have won. Successfully defeated round 15 boss. <laughs> good. Everyone's all good there. Max HP, pretty much. Crest activated. Oof, guard. Based on allies' hero max HP, their attacks increased by 1, physical magic defense by 2.5%. Okay. Yeah, I'll make my dudes tank here. I'm okay with that. Nice. So that is points earned, and that is the general clear but you keep exploring deep Lapith to get on the ranking list so let's continue on deep challenge for the hero okay you ready 
Are you ready? We are now taking out your boy, uh, Seth, because we need people to actually tank. Now you can see Natasha's actually taking damage. My team actually got hurt right there. People can actually kill me now, so yeah. Once you continue on like the difficulty challenge, the enemies actually get really strong. So you might have to try to not die this time. Before I was just not dying because it was easy. Now you might have to try to not die. And I could end up dying. I don't really care if I do because like we, we did what we needed to do. So it's cool. I could also throw on your boy for double tank. And that would be perfectly acceptably strong too. Uh, they're stunned for the first five seconds of a battle. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh dang, one of the, uh... Oh, one of the jumpy dudes is dead. Yeah, they... Okay, we win this one easy. Yes. Good stuff. The immobilization really nuked him. Plus, we have so many crest upgrades, uh, everything, that we're just kind of OP. Oh, inflict fright on all enemies for three seconds whenever an enemy hero is defeated. Yeah, that'll be really good. Get it! There's Muriel. There's Muriel. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that entangle clutch is always so good, Cecia. Too good. It helps a lot that whenever I ult, I get a ton of energy back right after I ult. Kinda carrying. Oh shit! My two heroes just died. Oh fuck, my tank died. <gasps> no! Yeah, my heals, my tank, my DPS, they're all dead. Okay, so I think I just lost. So what you can always do is revive heroes and try one more time. Who else needs a little pick me up? Sir, uh, are you calling me? By the title of the swordsman. If we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. So you see how they're still low health? It's because their health as also carries over each uh, round. So my and enemy's health carries over. So if you fail and you did a lot of damage, you're still good. Overall, Hewen is a good healer, and they one-shot him. Fuck. They one-shot both my healers. Yeah, they're good healers, but they just, uh, they just got destroyed. Uh, yep, they just they just got destroyed. Absolutely sh schluckered. Schmuckers. Always a good time with schmuckers. Yeah, we couldn't make it to the boss, so I couldn't show you the boss this time. Sorry about that. But it's a similar uh, boss to like the rank 15. As you can see, you can continue fighting. And I can mash my head against the wall being like, no, I can win. But now my heroes are just going to get nuked, right? Obviously, I have zero chance of actually killing them with two people. And that is how it goes. Current points, two. And then you take the L, right? You're like, Labyrinth. There we go. Points earned. 1400, 200 honor points, new, right, cool, awesome, sweet. But my points are all maxed out and I'm just kind of chilling there. So you keep going there, get more rewards here, get that. And then if you feel like it, rank up and fight everyone here. Look at the Mercy Guild. Not in a guild, boom. <laughs> I don't think a uh, top player is gonna join my awesome guild. But hey, you never know. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, subbing, liking, and using Epic Games creator code Pupsker to support the channel if you use the Epic Games Store. It all helps out, so appreciate it, and more AFK Journey videos to come. Cheers.